Hey folks, so it is day 56. We're gonna do a quick little check-in on our basil baby. We're going to do a little bit of pruning on it today. So let's grab our basil baby, take a little look at it and get into a little bit of pruning here. So as we can see, I've got the basil baby right here and it's continuing to look nice and strong. And what we know is that it's still a little bit too cold for it to be moving outside to be starting the hardening off process to ultimately transplant it into its forever home. So a big part of right now and what we're doing with our basil baby is just patience, patience, patience. But what we can also see on this baby is that for myself, it's starting to grow a little bit tall here on this particular plant. And same with this one here, it's getting a little bit long. And some people, when they have seen basil or potentially had basil in the past, what they go about doing is they just start plucking the leaves off here. And I really encourage you to take a different approach to this and to not just be plucking the leaves, but rather to be pruning the plant and using that as your way to go about getting the leaves. The reason why I believe you should be doing this is because each time that you prune it, when you prune it in the right place, it is going to get bushier and bushier and you're gonna end up with a much larger plant with significantly more leaves on it. So what I wanna do now is I wanna walk you through what to look for on the plant so that you know where to be pruning it and how to go about pruning it. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at this plant here. And when I look at this one kind of longer stem here what we can see is that we've got the main stem going along and then we've got this little node here where there's a big leaf and a big leaf and two smaller leaves in between here and it's at these nodes that we want to prune the entire growth above it right off because what's going to happen is all the new growth is going to come out of these nodes. And so rather than it being one stem, it's now going to become two stems. And then as we prune those two stems, they're gonna turn it into four stems. And that's where we get this bushier and bushier plant that has more and more leaves on it. So once we have located the node, as we did right here, all that we have to do is grab the main stem just above that node. There we go. So I've pruned this baby off. There we have it, that's what came off the plant. That can now be thrown into a dish, into a pasta, on top of a, some tomatoes maybe, all kinds of good things that we can do with that. And all of the new growth, I'm not sure if you're able to see it there, is going to come out of the two nodes on the side of this plant here. If we wanted, we could go over to this one right here as well. And once again, we're looking for the main stem, we're going along it, and then we are just going to either pinch it or use our pruners above where that node is, where we find four leaves. And there we have it, that one's off. I wanna show you just quickly what that will look like in a few months time. So here is a basil plant that's a little bit further along. And what we can see here is that there's all kinds of growth coming off of it. And if we were to take a look at that main stem, what we can see is that it forks and that's where we pruned it. And then we've got more forking that happens throughout. And each of those points are where we have gone about pruning this plant to give it that really nice and bushy growth. So with basil plants, we can prune them fairly early on as soon as we see a node where there are four leaves coming off of it. So this little baby that we've got right now, it's going to be looking like that in just a few months time. And when you have eight, 10, 16, 20 plants like that, you're gonna have a lot of basil, a lot of pesto, a lot of good leaves to be putting into dishes of all sorts. All right, so I hope that you're enjoying your first couple of basil leaves in different meals and dishes on your end. And the next video in this playlist is beginning the hardening off process for moving our basil baby from under the indoor grow lights into the outdoor garden where it will be its forever home. And so this is something that could happen at different times for us, depending on when you started your seeds and how warm it is on your end. So you might be hardening things off around day 30. You might be hardening things off around day 80. It really, really depends again on the average nighttime low temperature. So you want to wait until that average nighttime low temperature is at least 12 Celsius, which we'll chat through in the subsequent videos here. Once that happens, then you'll be getting that hardening off process. So if you're in and around there, then I really encourage you to check out the next video on how to begin the hardening off process for your basil babies to ensure that they successfully move into their garden um, and where they're gonna be growing for the rest of the season. So it's everything for right now, but if you have any questions, please do leave those down in the comments because I will get an answer to you and help you grow amazing basil this season.